think I should order from Red Moto, so today going to be working on this 2022 Toyota Corolla driver side mirror removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. If you guys need any pre-paid auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com for your pre-paid auto body parts for And if you guys need this mirror for your vehicle, the link is down below and up above. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first things first, we got to open that door. Alright, when you guys open the door, you're going to go ahead and open up this, uh, this cover right here. Let's get something flat and just pry it out. Something soft. Be really careful, you can use one of these. Take that off right there, and you're going to feel the screw. So, if you guys don't know what a screwdriver is, it looks like one of these things. It's like a star almost. Go ahead and come over here. Take that off. And there you go. So next step is, there's this cover right here where the armrest is. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and you can use your finger this is really easy just go ahead and pry it off right here it should come right off back there that we gotta take off let's see is there any more screws nope oh, that's it the same thing that you guys used up here that you're gonna use down here Same exact screw, but I'm not going to take it all the way. Now you can go ahead and... Uh, you saw me pull that apart, but let me just go ahead and zoom out. Let's go over here and pull this right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull over here. Pull that. It's just now held down by clips. Push. You pull out. You see that? let it dangle like that. So basically all it is is going to be held on. You guys go behind the panel. It's just held on by these uh, little clips right here, plastic clips. And once you pull it or you tug it, it's going to release. And sometimes you have like one of these that kind of doesn't pop off correctly. You just got to find it. It's right there. And you can just take that off with like a flathead and put it back in place. Alright, so once we take off that uh, panel, there's this white cover right here. It's going to be a 10, mil 10 millimeter that comes right off right there. This is your wire right here for your side view mirror. But we're not going to take that off because once we take off the bolts onto the side view mirror, we don't want it to fall completely down. And with this being on there, it protects you from the mirror actually falling all the way down. Once we actually have the mirror already unbolted, then we'll slowly take this off go ahead and take that off with a 10 millimeter and as you guys can see there's an arrow right here that's going to be pointing this way just i guess just line it off that works oh. Okay, maybe that arrow right there just tells you like this cover goes this way not pull it that way that's a little confusing all right here we go 
So, well, I'm just going to go ahead and take off the cover just like that. And we're going to go down here. You will see it from there, but over back there. But you're going to see it right here. So you guys can see there's going to be one, two, three, 10 millimeter bolts or nuts that you have to take off. And I'll show you guys what they look like when I take it off. So for this one right here, you're going to need an extension like this one because I don't think this one's going to be long enough to reach. I'm going to go ahead and take this. You got to be careful because this nut right here, if you just magnetize, then it's going to fall down. So if you take it down slowly, I like to see if I, yeah, if my fingers goes in there, I like to hold it, just like that, you guys can see, and then the nut doesn't fall off. Go ahead and continue on. So, once you're ready to take it off, get one of, get your hand, one of them, secure that side view mirror, so hold it, okay? Take this off, unplug it like that, and then go ahead and wiggle this out. And then it comes right off like that, okay? You guys are having a hard time taking it off. If you guys are having a hard time taking it out, just know there's this clip right here. That's probably when you wiggle it, it's kind of getting caught up. But if you get wiggling enough, it's going to come off. So, okay, so if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below on that one. But let's go ahead and put this back together. So same thing. Uh, that um, what is it like screw? 
it'll actually break off and then it defeats the purpose of you buying a new uh, mirror. So I like to just be careful. If you don't need to tighten up too much, go ahead and use one of these. And once it's tight like that, just take a, a little bit of a turn. That's about it. That's all you need. You don't gotta go all crazy on it and use all your muscles, you know? Use that muscle for other things. Right here, you don't need too much muscle power. Go ahead, there you go. That's all you need. That's all the tools you need. This one, same thing. Turn it. Oh, that's good. Alright. So now we got this cover right here. Go ahead and... Oh, there we go. So that's why we need the arrow. I was confused. Like I was turning upside down all, all sorts of ways. But there's an arrow right here. So that arrow shows me that this thing goes this way. Then, go ahead and put this wire in there like that. door panel guys what's gonna happen is that you're gonna go and if you hit it you don't have to hit it too hard hit it gently because if you hit it too hard and try to force it in there that little plastic clip is gonna break so just hit it like softly and it should just go back into place Go ahead and pull, give it a little bit of tug. Should be good, to, be good to go right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our screws back in. Then on this one right here, remember, just follow the clips right here and line up with the holes. Once it's all lined up, again, just a little bit of pressure like that, then you know it's going to be in the right place and you're not going to damage those clips. So you don't got to put too much pressure on it. There you go. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to screw right there. If I can find it. Yeah, lost it. Oh, it's down here. Alright, that's another thing about insulation. You got to know where those little screws and nuts. That one was on the floor. Go ahead and screw that into place. Go ahead and screw this one. Put this cover back into place. Alright. Alright guys, that's how you remove and install a 2020 Toyota Corolla. 